Hello, my friends. Kerry Green here. It is time once again for the Morning Mindset. You and I have the opportunity right now to get our minds aligned with the truth of God's Word. And that is spreading all across the globe thanks to people like a couple that I have to just think right here, Jordan and Eleanor both have come on as monthly partners with the Morning Mindset for the last week. And Jordan, Eleanor, your help to us financially is getting the Word of God to different places in the world where people are truly having their lives changed because of what's happening through the Morning Mindset. If you would like to be a monthly partner of the Morning Mindset, you can go to morningmindsetmedia.com slash partner and find out more. And we appreciate every partner who comes on board with us to make a difference all across the globe. Well, today we're looking again at John 17. And we are once again only going to read the first two verses, verses 1 and 2. Jesus has just finished speaking with his disciples, warning them about the difficulties that they're going to face soon. And then he turns to pray to the Father. And he says, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all flesh, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. Now, friends, this issue of authority that Jesus speaks of here, that is a term and a concept that we kind of, I don't know, resist in our culture, especially in the Western world. We're a bunch of rugged individuals. We we try to live our lives our own way. Nobody's going to tell us what to do. But friends, we need to notice what Jesus has stated here about what God the Father has done for him. God the Father has given Jesus authority over all flesh. That means over all humanity. So he is the king over us. And when we say that word king, we instantly think of realms and rulers like presidents or prime ministers or dictators. And those people, depending on who they are and what position they hold, can bring a sense of of honor to our minds, or they can bring a sense of dread to our minds because there are both good rulers and bad rulers. There are rulers to be respected and rulers to be deplored. And it's hard for us to conceive that in light of us having human rulers over various countries and regions and organizations, there is a ruler who is higher still, and that's Jesus Christ. And friends, as believers in Jesus Christ, he is our highest authority. He is the one to whom we answer before and above all other earthly authorities. So if you're serving in the military, for example, and you were asked to do something in your role in the military by a superior officer and authority over you that is contrary to the word of God, you would have to, by obligation, and devotion to Jesus Christ, say, no, I can't do that because I serve a higher king. Friends, if you are an employee of an employer who is your authority, and they ask you to do something that's unscrupulous or dishonest in order to profit the business more or in order to get more from a customer, as a follower of Jesus Christ, you need to have that conviction that, no, I can't do that. I serve a higher king. I serve Jesus my Savior, my Lord, the one who rules the universe. And friends, this comes down to even more practical things. If we have government edicts or laws that are unconstitutional or are oppressive in some way that limits the freedoms that our Constitution guarantees, we have a higher authority that we appeal to. and We say, no, I can't do those things because my King, Jesus Christ, is my higher authority. My point here is not to start a rebellion of some sort or to have us raising up some sort of revolution against a government or organization. My point is to make us aware that though we don't see Jesus physically with our eyes day to day, he is with us every moment. His authority over our lives should govern our choices, both personal and public. We should be living moral lives. Why? Because Jesus, our authority, commands it of us. Because our love for him and our devotion compel us in that direction. Friends, we are under authority. 
as servants of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want you to know it is a glorious and gracious and good authority to be under. Jesus, I know many people think that if they're to give their life to Christ, all their fun would be ruined. They would be restricted and bound and and put into a place of doing things that they don't really want to do. But Lord, the great news is that when we place our faith in you, you transform our hearts and you give us holy, righteous inclinations from the power of your Holy Spirit to obey your will. So Jesus, help us today to live under your authority gladly. The Morning Mindset is a listener-fueled project. Find out how you can support what we're doing to spread the gospel further across the globe by going to morningmindsetmedia.com support.